secure. Negative contacts. I should thank you for releasing me. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine. Or I will be. In time. My name is Shiala. I serve... I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel. An enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. That's what you get for trusting Saren. Saren is quick to betray his followers, and his allies. Once he had what he needed, he ordered his Geth to destroy the Thorian. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. You must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. Just give me some plain answers. Where is the Cypher? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. You taught Saren, you can teach me. There is a way. 
I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. <laughs> I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What just happened? Are you okay? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. You look pretty rough. We should get you back to the ship. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the Cypher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the Beacon. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. Farewell, Shiala. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. I fought so hard, but any thought I of wish you luck. Thank you for freeing me. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress.
Decontamination in progress. Commander, you look... pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? My brain's been scrambled like an egg. How do you think I feel? I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! <laughs> Incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Did you see anything? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision, what was there at least, but something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. I sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes Spectres have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report.